planet Earth. I'm Eva Tyson, one of the 230 scientists and engineers stationed up here on the Pilgrim. Regular viewers of this live feed will notice I am not in my traditional t-shirt and socks. I am in a spacesuit, and that is because today I am going home. And joining me on that homeward flight is one of my colleagues, Dr. Grant Moon. Hi. It's actually pretty incredible because we've both been aboard the Pilgrim for three months, but because there are so many people up here studying the anomaly, this is actually the first time that Dr. Tyson and I have met. So, hello, Dr. Tyson. Oh, hello, Dr. Moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it goes without saying. I'm a specialist in a branch that applies the laws of physics and chemistry to analyze the genesis and demise of various nebulae in the universe. Observable objects, atomic particles, all the way up. Pretty much anything on the candela and thermodynamic temperature scales. It includes aspects of astronomy and cosmology as well, but it's actually more complex than that, so... He's a star expert. <laughs> yeah, you know, using that would save a lot of space on my resume. <laughs> it really would. And for those of you who are new to this, our ship is here to analyze a very special wave of radiation. We're all here just for that. Now, the universe is full of solar radiation, but what makes this radiation so special is that it has no discernible source. Masses of energy pouring into the universe from nowhere. So you can see why we're all so fascinated by it. Limitless energy forever. Now, if we look out the window, you should be able to see the shuttle that's coming to pick us up. The Wanderer, named after the poem. Wanderer returns. And if we link to the pilot's POV camera, you'll get a good view of the entire station, as well as the radiation anomaly behind us. And if we're lucky, we should just be able to see the Big Dipper off to the side, too. Here we go. This is Pilgrim. We're ready for you in the airlock. Please activate your auto docking sequence. Roger that, Pilgrim. This is Wanderer. Auto docking sequence engaged. Thank you, Wanderer. You're looking good. Uh, Wanderer, we're having some difficulty syncing with your docking gear. The guidance system will take care of your side, but I think we're going to need a second over here. Roger that, Pilgrim. Waiting on you. That's it. Keep it coming. Wait, wait. The sync is still not working. We're gonna try a manual reboot. Stand by. Still nothing. Command, any different on your end? This is Command. Now we got the same reading here. No sync. and fix the docking mechanism. No, no, it's not a big deal. Wanderer, we're in our EMU suits. We can just open the airlock manually and boost over to you. Dr. Tyson, I'd rather do this by the book. This is by the book. Look, we tether to the Pilgrim, boost over to the shuttle, reattach there, release the first tether. It's a simple walk. If we wait to schedule an engineer, we'll be stranded here another week, and the Wanderer will be stuck waiting out there. Are you married? That is not a useful question here. Well, there are people I want to get home to. So, please. <sighs> Command, does this sit right with you? Tethered walk is okay with us, Dr. Moon. Your call. Okay. Wanderer, please maintain your position and prepare for manual boarding. I guess we're taking a walk. Roger, holding position. Okay. I'm opening the outer hatch. Tethers are attached. Looking good. So your name? It's, uh, seriously Dr. Moon? Yeah. 
but for all the playground teasing. Look where I am right now. God. <laughs> Look at it. 60 yards out. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What the hell is that? Pilgrim, this is Eva. Are you seeing this? Is it the Pilgrim? No. No, but it's a piece of it. Must have broken off from the main station on entry. I guess we found our power source. Hello? Anyone inside? get it. It's definitely one of the Pilgrim's boosters. So what happened to the rest of the station? All speed and trajectory evidence say it should be right here. What happened to it? I got a theory. What if it just skimmed here, like a stone? That would put the final crash site another, what, well, maybe 15, 16 clicks away? Hmm. I'll crunch the numbers. Can you stretch your rations that far? Yeah, I'm good. I purged the hab, by the way. Pressure's holding. It's actually pretty comfortable in there. Okay. But we're not staying. major dust storm right on top of me here. I don't know what kind of wind speeds to expect, or it might be headed your way. But you should find shelter. Copy. But I'll be having dinner with the Pilgrim long before I have to worry about that. Are you okay? You went quiet. Come on, don't leave me hanging. It's awful lonely out here. I... I'm not sure this is the right time to talk about it. All right, look, you remember those batteries we found that were all depleted down to 1% power? Yeah. But one of those batteries to deplete all the way down to 1% takes about 30 years. Okay, so? So, it got me thinking, and I went outside and scraped some of the mold out of the outside of the hab. Okay. Yeah. We're fine. Yeah, so I monitored its growth rate, and for the mold to have spread as far as it has would have taken about 30 years. What are you driving at? So, this is where it gets complicated. The Pilgrim was sucked through the wormhole about three seconds before us. But the batteries, the mold, they indicate the Pilgrim's been here for about 30 years. Eva, what I'm driving at is that I think every second on the other side of that wormhole it's ten years on this side. You 
you see what I mean, right? I wasn't sure. It's a theory. But if you do find anyone at the Pilgrim, they'll be 30 years older than when we left them. They might not have had enough supplies to last. The Pilgrim has plenty of supplies. Okay. You know what? This is actually a good thing. Because... If they've been here for 30 years, then they've had plenty of time to repair a shuttle. And that means we can all get out of here together. So... So as long as nothing else goes wrong... Grant? I'm okay. The storm's wreaking havoc with the comms. What the hell was that? The window got hit. Patched it. I think it'll hold. Are you okay? I'm okay, yeah. I'm good. I mean, are you okay with what I said before? Of course. thing about these soil samples is that the microorganisms in here they have no clear evolutionary connection to one another it's like they're all from different ecosystems i mean they're as different from each other as they are from us god you could spend a lifetime here and still never totally scratch the surface can you please stop wasting time with that it's not relevant to us getting home it's not useful to our survival if we don't get out of here it doesn't matter how interesting this place is, no one will ever know. So at the very least, you should be cataloging rations, or maybe... Maybe... You know what? I'm being an asshole. I'm sorry. I've just been walking a really long time. It's okay. I get it. I definitely drew the short end of the straw. I'm usually pretty nice, I swear. Oh yeah? something. I, uh, been working on something that could help us. Check it out. Artificial photosynthesis. These babies use daylight to generate all the protein, carbs, and oxygen we need. Indefinitely. I'm gonna go place these up on the bridge. I'll be back home in a couple of hours. Don't call this home.
to go. We have left off. Going to do as I say. Steer the shuttle towards the top of the pillar. We're not going to the wormhole. Do it now. Okay. All right. Why would it want to destroy that? I want to escape. I want answers. And I brought you here so you could get me close enough to ask. Come on. 